and today we're gonna make a custom mouthpiece. Normally, when we make a custom mouthpiece, you know, obviously we're gonna do, it's gonna be a brass rim, a brass underpart, and then we uh, silver plate it at the end. Um, but today, we've got a, you know, solid piece of sterling silver that the customer there looking to have a rim made out of this material. You know, it's a denser material, it'll have some different acoustic properties. So basically, I mean, they're trusting us with that you know, material and time to, to take this investment. Machining the sterling silver, I mean, it's a different set of challenges compared to the brass. I mean, it's a softer, gummier material. It's just going to be a different challenge to have to make a blank and then actually have to hand carve that sterling to make a rim. Okay, so uh, let's go make a custom mouthpiece. And so the first thing I have to make, you know, the rim blank completely by hand. It's precious material, obviously, I don't want to cut off more than I need to. So now that I have a puck, I mean, basically, the next step is going to be to make the rim blank itself. I bored out the inside to the correct you know, shape and relief and stuff we do for our rims. Uh, and I mean, now I'm literally threading it. And basically the next step is going over the other machine where we make all our mouthpieces. Because it's a custom job, it's gonna be a lot of hand carving. I've got the mouthpiece we're copying here. I've taken a template, you know, we've checked it to make sure, you know, we'll find the place that the customer wants to feel, you know, because sometimes we get a mouthpiece one side of the rim to the other side of the rim is not round or not the same shape, you know, especially if something's old, maybe it's been polished five times and replated five times. It may very likely not be the same thing from one side to the other. So we, you know, we check for that kind of thing. Uh, we find, you know, if we can, tools that fit the shapes of it to start with. Obviously, you know, in this job, we know we have to do some handwork to carve the rim. We're all done, we're right on there. It's quite a process, you know, several hours of uh, hand carving just to make sure it was right. You know, and it's, that's just the way it is. You know, it's sometimes you get 95% of the way there and it's just that little last bit that you have to get right. But we're all done. Don't have to plate this rim, so we just gotta finish up the rest of the mouthpiece and uh, we're good to go.